everyone. Today we are reading Me and My Cat by Satoshi Kishimura. Late one night, an old lady in a pointed hat came in through the bedroom window. She brandished her broom at me and fired out some words. Then she left without saying goodbye. Nicholas, wake up. You'll be late for school. It must be mum. It must be morning again. Mum dragged me to the bedroom and made me wash and dress. Downstairs, she interrupted my breakfast. She was furious. She carried me off to catch the school bus. I had gone, but... I was still here? How strange, I thought to myself, pulling my whiskers. Uh, Whiskers? I rushed to the bathroom and looked at myself in the mirror. Leonardo, my cat, was staring back at me. But it wasn't him. It was me. I couldn't believe my eyes. I had turned into a cat. Don't panic, I told myself. I sat in the armchair to consider the situation carefully. I fell asleep. When I woke, I felt a little better. Maybe it wasn't such a bad thing to be a cat. I didn't have to go to school, did I? I hopped onto the table and from there to the top of the shelf. What fun! I could never do this before. I made a leap towards the cupboard on the other side of the room. Oops! Mum threw me out of the house! While I was rambling in the garden, Jaconda, the next door cat, came up and lick me all over my face. Yuck! Time to go for a walk, I thought. The brick wall was warm under my paws. When I came to Miss Thompson's garden, I saw Heloise. A strange feeling came over me. Miss Thompson had given me Leonardo as a kitten. Leonardo was Heloise's son. Did that mean she was now my mother? Meow, meow. Hello, Mum, I called tentatively. She ignored me completely. Further along, I came across three mean-looking cats. Excuse me, may I go through? I said. No. Go away, it's our wall, replied one. I think the wall belongs to every... But before I could finish my sentence, they were all over me. We punched and kicked and scratched one another until we fell off the wall, entangled. Bow, wow, 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 wow. A dog came running towards us, barking furiously. The cats ran away in all directions. It was Bernard, Mr. Stone's dog. He's a sweet dog, my favourite in the neighbourhood. Thanks, Bernard. You came just in time. But he chased me out of the garden. Of course, he couldn't recognise me. So this was the world that, that Leonardo lived in. Life was as tough and complicated as it was for humans. When I got home, I heard a strange noise coming from the front door. It was me, back from school, trying to get into the house through the cat flap. But was he me, Nicholas? Or was he poor little Leonardo inside my body? Once inside, He continued to behave strangely. 
He scratched himself earnestly, and when that was done, he challenged his shoes until they surrendered. He licked his jumper clean, then spent a long time sharpening his nails. He found the goldfish particularly fascinating. He tried to sort the washing and the wool, but at last he gave up. He thought the radiator irresistible and was potty about the cat's toilet. But when he noticed me, he didn't seem to like my face at all. Mum saw something was wrong with her son at last. She became so worried that she called the doctor and asked him to come at once. Oh, nothing to worry about, said Dr. Wire. He's just a little overtired. Send him to bed early and he'll be fine in the morning. Mum was still very upset. She held him tight in her arms all evening. I felt sorry for them both. I climbed on Leonardo in my shape and stroked his cheek. He purred. Then Mum stroked me gently. I purred. Later that night, the old lady in the pointed hat came through the bedroom window. Sorry, love, I got the wrong address, she said. She brandished her broom and blurted out some words. Then she left without saying good night. Nicholas, wake up, you'll be late for school, I heard Mum shouting. Everything was back to normal. At school, Mr. McGough sat on the table. He scratched himself, licked his shirt and fell asleep for the rest of the lesson.